So what's going on everyone, Chris of Chaos here. Today I'm bringing you guys another sexy ass Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. What I have for you guys today is going to be a Kim Strike on the map Strike Zone using the ARX 150 or 160, excuse me. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to get your first ever Kim Strike if you guys are new to this game and you are struggling and you want to know how to get your first one. Hopefully the tips I give you guys in this video will help you out because this is a completely different COD from any one we've played before. It's so different. You know, the maps are a lot bigger than we're used to. The guns are a lot different. The guns have actual recoil. This isn't an SMG dominated game. And uh, pretty much it's completely different from anything we've expected. When people were saying, uh, you know, the game feels like Modern Warfare 3, they were completely wrong. The game feels like a hybrid of Battlefield and Call of Duty, which, you know, is not necessarily a bad thing. I just feel like it's more different than any other cards we've played before so let's get into the game mode that i'm playing then i'll get into the perks which you guys should be using and some good you know class setup and everything's assault rifle suggestions for you guys so the game mode that i'm playing is called blitz it's one of the new game modes introduced into call of duty ghost and it's pretty much just like one flag ctf from black ops 2 the point of the game mode is you have two portals on either side of the map you have one on your spawn and one on the opposing team spawn and the whole point of it is you have to run through that portal and it teleports you back to your spawn and once you do that you get a point for your team so you're going to be in the enemy's face a lot you're going to be in the spawn a lot trying to make it to that portal if you're playing against smart people then they'll have the portal you know guarded they'll have ims's ieds claymores all kind of stuff like that near the spawn you know to try and stop you guys from getting to it and you guys see right there the spawns are very very bad in this game mode so that's one thing you have to constantly be on your toes the spawns are very very strong in this gameplay you see there's one time where i'm just in their spawn behind a statue i'm just taking them out and it's just completely fast paced i think it's a really good gameplay the time wasn't too bad considering it was my first chem strike ever that i've gotten and this was on a saturday too so this was against you know all the tryhards and stuff who managed to get the game early so i think it's a really good gameplay hopefully you guys do enjoy that so let's get into what weapons you guys should be using so if you guys do not know in ghost you don't have to wait to unlock stuff as soon as you have the points to unlock at the squad points then you'll be able to you know buy anything you want so squad points are basically the equivalent of cop points from black ops one you know you get those from leveling up and stuff and once you get those you can buy different things so the assault rifles that i recommend that you guys buy are the honey badger the arx or the uh what is that the msbs the msbs is a gun that i think they're gonna have to nerf right off the bat it's a one or it's a two shot kill it's a three round burst weapon but it's a two shot kill so all you have to do is manage two of those shots on target and the person is just dead i mean that's pretty much the way it goes it's a really strong assault rifle if you guys would like to see my best class setup for that weapon then go ahead and drop a like below and drop a comment let me know so you want to be using an assault rifle in this game if you want to get your first chem strike just because this isn't like every other call of duty this isn't like black ops 2 or modern warfare 3 where you know it's completely smg dominated this is an assault rifle dominated game if you don't have an assault rifle on you're going to be at a disadvantage just because of how big the maps are uh, they suit assault rifles a lot more then they suit the SMGs. And another tip I can give you guys is to flank a lot in this game. Not just in this game mode in particular, but in this game in general. The maps are so big, and the way the maps are set up, if you run through the middle of the map, you're just going to get taken out. And then you die so fast in this game. Like, the bullet damage in this game has been drastically increased from what it was in previous cards. So flanking is really going to help you out getting behind the enemies because nine times out of ten, if you get behind an enemy, there's not going to be much they're going to be able to do unless they're just a really good player. You know, they may be able to turn on you. But if you get first shot on someone, nine times out of ten, you're going to be able to get that kill on them and you're going to be able to continue on with your kill streaks. So now let's get into the perks that I'm rocking. My perks that I was rocking to start off with, I was rocking ready up, sleight of hand, off the grid, wiretap, and dead silence so let's get into each one of those perks sleight of hand you guys already know is a faster uh, reload it's not the fast ads that it was in black ops 1 i'm also rocking wiretap which is a great perk i'm gonna have a video talking about that perk later on and basically what wiretap does is it allows you to stack enemy satcoms hack them and make them your own so if i have two satcoms and the enemy team has two satcoms and i have on wiretap i basically have four satcoms and that turns into an advanced uav or faster swiping uav excuse me and then I also have on Off The Grid, very good perk. I'm telling you guys, for all you new people who are going to be getting the game, Off The Grid is going to be a perk that you guys are going to want to use, especially if you're going for chem strikes or any kind of long streaks like that. You're going to want to have Off The Grid. And basically what that allows you to do is stay off enemy portable radars and stay off, you know, enemy satcom. So that's a great perk to have, wiretap and uh, off the grid is a very strong combo you can see other people but they won't be able to see you i'm also rocking dead silence just because i don't like hearing my own footsteps amplifies a good 
is a good perk you know if you guys would like to rock that but the thing is when you have on amplified people with dead silence can hear you so I highly recommend that you guys put on dead silence if you know you're going to be going for long chem streaks just because you don't want people sound horn you and then turning around on you when you you know you're close to your chem strike and then for my specialist I am rocking hardline as my second kill and uh, I go into scavenger as my third and then my sixth one is amplified just so I can hear footsteps louder and then I'm pretty much I'm not sure about what perks go after that I just threw a bunch of perks together for my specialist but I recommend that you guys have hardline somewhere on your specialist class setup just because it takes a total of 11 kills to get to your specialist bonus if you guys don't have on hardline and that one extra kill really makes a difference so that's why I recommend putting on hardline somewhere in there and also scavenger is a must just because if you're not running scavenger you may want to run fully loaded fully loaded basically what it does is it starts you off with the maximum amount of ammo that your gun can hold so if you guys don't want to rock don't want to rock scavenger then I would definitely recommend rocking that and then scavenger in this game has been nerfed down from what it was in previous cars like black ops 1 you no longer refill lethals and tacticals you just refill your ammo so for some people that may not even be worth using and then I also recommend that you guys also have on a sound horror perk, whether you start off with it or you want to unlock it later. Sound horn is very, very prevalent in this game. You can hear stuff across the map. You can hear pretty much footsteps regardless of if you have on a sound or regardless if they have on uh, dead silence or not. You can still really hear footsteps if you turn your headset up loud enough and then that's pretty much all the tips I have for you guys use a gun that you're comfortable with the same thing as getting a Moab just use a gun that you're comfortable with find in a good assault rifle which is what I recommend that you guys use find a good assault rifle that you guys like I recommend the ARX the MSBS or the Honey Badger all good three assault rifles use one of those and then play a little bit defensive you know don't be afraid to kind of sit back and let the enemy come to you you have all the time in the world you know just to kind of sit back and uh, you know let the enemies make the mistake you know don't be so how do I put it? Don't be so, you know, I don't know how to put it. Don't, you know, be so focused on running around and rushing to try to get your first one because you're just going to get frustrated. You die so fast in this game, you're going to end up making a mistake and then you're going to end up paying for it. So take the game a little bit slower if you guys haven't yet got your first chem strike. And then once you get more consistent at it, you can start going for faster ones and you can start going for more rushing ones. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this gameplay. My name is Chris of Chaos. If you guys did, remember to go ahead and drop a like on this video. Subscribe for more Call of Duty Ghost tips and info. Anyway, guys, my name is Chris of Chaos. I'm out of here. Peace out.